Welcome to the Tolman Self-Care Podcast, where we bring our weekly self-care content in easy listening audio format. It's a great way to boost your self-care mindset anytime you're multitasking at home, in the car, or on your morning walk. Now, before we get started with today's episode, a quick word about the content of this recording. The information shared in this podcast is general in nature and is not intended as any kind of medical advice or to replace any diagnosis, treatment or recommendation given to you by your doctor. We always recommend that you do your own research and seek opinion from a licensed healthcare professional before acting on any of this information to ensure its suitability for you and your personal circumstances. We hope you enjoy today's podcast. Now let's get started. Acne and skin problems, five keys to healing without chemical topical creams. Although acne is not considered a serious health condition, for those who have it, acne or skin inflammation can be embarrassing and even self-esteem destroying. Common amongst teenagers going through puberty and adults experiencing hormonal changes, acne is a skin condition that results from several factors. Moderate to chronic skin conditions of any kind are an indication of imbalances in the body and should be a sign that a self-care approach is needed to properly take care of the problem for good. The three main causes of acne and skin problems. 1. Sebum oil. When the sebaceous glands secrete too much oil, known as sebum, acne can result. Excess sebum is normally the result of an overproduction of insulin in the bloodstream due to poor dietary choices or hormonal imbalances. The oil clogs the pores as it reaches the skin's surface, particularly when it connects the dead skin cells or dirt within the pores, causing acne and other skin ailments to form. 2. Gut bacterial overwhelm. Since the skin is the largest organ of elimination in the body, it generally reflects what is going on inside your body, and the command center for everything is the gut. This means that acne is often an indicator of what's known as dysbiosis inside the gut, an imbalance between the types of bacteria, more bad than good, that is compromising healthy body function and waste elimination. Also, oral contraception can also trigger hormonal conflict within the body, leading to acne and other skin complaints. 3. Poor diet. A diet laden with processed and refined foods, whether due to ignorance, addiction or cravings, is the main cause of gut imbalances, leading to the formation of acne and other skin irritations. So, if you or someone you know suffers from acne or a similar skin complaint, start by eliminating these foods from your diet to help bring the gut back into balance. Refined sugar products, example soft drinks, energy drinks, white sugar, candies and commercial chocolate. Artificial colours and sweeteners, example aspartame, diet sodas, cordial, flavoured drinks, packaged foods that include food colouring, etc. Hydrogenated and trans fat oils, Example, margarine, heavily refined GMO vegetable oils like canola, corn, cotton and soybean. Processed meat products, example bacon, ham, salami, sausages, hot dogs, corned beef and pastrami. Refined flour and grains, example white bread, white rice, white pasta, cakes and biscuits. Processed dairy, example pasteurized and homogenized milk products and ice cream. Five keys to healing acne and problem skin without chemical creams. As the body's largest organ, any vibrantly healthy person will usually have clear, glowing skin as an indicator of their overall state of health. To achieve this, you need to get the basics right, which include a healthy, unprocessed food, diet, regular exercise, adequate sleep, sensible lifestyle habits, being mindful of the chemical products you use on your body. The four main keys we recommend are these. One. Practice healthy skin hygiene. Avoid commercial soaps that contain any type of chemicals and instead use plant-based natural soap products that are made from plant extracts, vegetable glycerin and or pure essential oils. Wash your clothes and linen using a chemical-free laundry powder. Lightly exfoliate your body and face daily with a chemical-free exfoliant that includes nature-made salt and plant oils like Renew. Alternatively, make your own DIY salt scrub at home by combining ingredients of Celtic sea salt, aloe vera gel, sweet almond oil and essential oils. This will help to release dead skin cells and dirt from your skin's pores, whilst also nourishing and hydrating the skin with non-inflammatory healing ingredients. Eliminate all chemical-based moisturizers and skincare products and switch to cold-pressed coconut oil or a non-greasy body butter like Divine or daily moisturizer like Nourish. 
Don't let your hair get greasy because hair oil often leads to even more facial oil, which you're trying to avoid. It is also a good idea to regularly wash dirty, sweaty hats or sweatbands used in fitness or sports activities and to avoid cosmetics and sunscreens that use mineral oil as an ingredient. Remember, if you want to heal your skin, you need to practice self-care by throwing out anything toxic that is contributing to the problem and this requires a conscious approach to the products you currently use. 2. Hydration the body cannot effectively flush waste and disease-causing toxins from the body without adequate hydration. Water also helps it in maintaining proper functioning of proteins, enzymes, and connective tissues. To help remove toxicity from the body, it is recommended that you drink one litre of clean water per 22 kilograms of body weight per day. This will assist the flushing of waste and help your body's vital organs to rehydrate. You can learn more in our blog, Water nature's best, and why it's critical to life. 3. What to eat Switch your diet to 80% plant whole foods. Start your day with fresh fruit, raw fresh juices, or a green or banana smoothie prepared from raw almond milk or coconut milk. Eat one big leafy green salad per day, and add steamed vegetables to your evening meal. Drizzle with olive oil, lemon juice, and sprinkle with sea salt. Include avocados in your salads, and focus on vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, zucchini, and squash for steaming. Snack on raw nuts such as walnuts, macadamias, and almonds, and add them to yogurt and salads. Eat mostly whole gluten-free grains, example rolled oats, quinoa, wild rice, and amaranth. Drink herbal teas and organic fresh brewed coffee. To sweeten smoothies and desserts, use organic medjool dates and raw organic honey or maple syrup. These are nutritious antioxidant foods, antibacterial and antifungal, and won't spike your insulin like most sweeteners. Include natural probiotics in your diet to support the formation of healthy bacteria in your gut, organic raw yogurt and cottage cheese, kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut, apple cider vinegar, and kombucha. You can learn more about probiotics in our blog, Probiotics, Health Benefits and 7 Powerful Food Sources. 4. Natural Colon Cleanse since the source of acne and many skin problems are gut imbalances, one of the quickest ways to restore gut health is to do a natural colon cleanse to help strip accumulated toxic waste stuck in the intestinal tract. Our handcrafted Cleanse Me is a two-part protocol prepared from Australian food-grade betonite clay, ground psyllium, ground flax, dry ginger, apple and cinnamon. 5. Lifestyle Adjustments Avoid chemical alcohol. Choose to drink organic preservative-free wines and naturally brewed preservative-free beer. Get sunshine and salt water. Your skin will heal faster if you expose as much of it as possible to 30 to 45 minutes of sunlight each day. Add a little cold-pressed coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil to clean skin before getting into the sun. Or if you can, soak your body in the ocean or a room temperature salt bath before sun exposure. Ocean water promotes rapid healing. Light exercise. Do some form of moderate exercise that allows your pores to open and lightly sweat for 45 to 60 minutes per day if you can. This will help to expel toxins beneath the skin's surface and encourage good circulation within the body. Sleep. Try to get 8 hours sleep each night. Remove your phone from next to your bed and use a diffuser with a calming essential oil like lavender to help you relax and get a good night's sleep. The main takeaway. Acne or problem skin is a sign of some form of chaos in the body that is trying to come out. Since the skin is the largest organ of elimination that you have, it tells a lot about the state of your overall health. To heal problem skin for good, it really requires a common sense self-care approach that involves ridding the toxic products from your environment, the inflammatory foods from your diet, and supporting your body to eliminate the offense that is causing the problem. From there, when you make smart dietary and lifestyle choices and follow some of the tips outlined here, you'll go a long way to making acne and skin problems a thing of the past. This concludes today's episode, and we hope you gained value from the tips and insights shared. Remember, the true foundations of self-care have always been the seven principles of health. Air, water, sunshine, walking, whole foods, non-toxic relationships, and passion. And your only job is to embrace them as part of your life. If you're looking for personal care, skincare, or whole food products you can trust, visit our online store at tolmanselfcare.com. Lastly, if you enjoyed today's episode, we'd really appreciate it if you share it with a friend and leave us a review on your podcast platform. 
Thanks for listening and we look forward to being with you in the next episode.